यंग इज अम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट यंग्स डबल स्लेट टू स्लेट्स आर यूज एक्सपेरिमेंट इन शॉर्ट वी राइट इट एज वाई डी एस यंग्स डबल स्लिट एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट टू स्टडी द इंटरफरेंस ऑफ लाइट लेटर ऑन डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट वेर परफॉर्म टू स्टडी द इंटरफरेंस बट यंग परफॉर्म द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट टू स्टडी द इंटरफरेंस ऑफ लाइट सी इन शॉर्ट द अरेजमेंट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दिस इज स्लिट यस and this slit yes is illuminated by monochromatic light monochromatic light here there is a slit yes this light is incident on here there is a screen at some distance this light is incident on two more slits we call it as s1 s2 suppose here there is a slit s1 here there is a slit s2 light travels in the form of alternate crest and troughs here again here also there are alternate crest and troughs and this crest and trough overlaps with each other monochromatic light is incident on a slit s this light is incident on two more slits s1 s2 these are the this is single slit here there are a double slit and this s1 s2 here acts as a coherent sources and they produces the interference pattern on the screen and here at the center we get the bright fringe condition for the bright fringe or constructive interference is satisfied here and we get the bright fringe and on its either side dark bright also here dark bright alternate fringes are obtained on the either side of central bright fringe and we can see the interference pattern which consist of alternate bright and dark fringes or bands clearly on this screen central fringe is always bright here s1 s2 acts as a coherent sources and we get the alternate bright and dark band or fringes which are equally spaced and we can see the interference pattern on the screen if either s1 or s2 is covered c1 main thing is if either s1 or s2 is covered uh, then fringes disappears there is no interference pattern if any one of these two is covered these fringes obtained on the screen disappears there are no fringes now we see the path difference between the waves reaching on the screen and by using that path difference we conclude that or we come to conclusion that whether that point is bright or dark so we see the path difference between the waves in young's double slit experiment this article is very important path difference between the waves in this young's double slit experiment here we consider the slits s1 suppose this is slit s1 this is slit s2 this is the distance between slits 
suppose this distance is small d and suppose here there is a screen distance between these slits and screen uh, we denote it by capital D it is about 1.5 meter to 2 meter that distance center of these slits is this point and suppose on the screen this central point is O the light waves coming from S1 to S2 reaches the screen suppose at this point P light from S1 S2 reaches the screen at point P and suppose this angle is theta S1 S2 are the current sources this is the screen distance of point P from the central point is suppose Y light waves from S1 S2 suppose reaches at point P on the screen which is at a distance Y from the central point O distance between slits and screen is capital D and distance between two slits is denoted by small d and this is the angle theta from this figure we find the expression for the path difference uh, between the waves whether this point is bright or dark it depends on path difference between the waves now path difference between the rays at point P path difference between the rays path difference between rays at point P between rays at point P that path difference is D sin theta you know already this formula path difference we will just write the formula d sin theta this angle is theta path difference between the rays at point p is theta if this theta is small sin theta is nearly equal to tan theta and that is this y upon d y upon capital D sin theta is nearly equal to tan theta and that is y upon d so path difference between the waves is we denote it by delta x d sin theta but this sin theta is y upon d so this is y d upon capital D if we substitute value of sin theta here we write the path difference between the waves as that path difference we denote by delta x and path difference is y into small d upon d meaning of small d is different that is it is the distance between the slits or coherent sources capital D is the distance between sources and the screen and y is a distance of that particular point P from the center of the interference uh, center of the screen due to the path difference between the waves at point on the screen some points are bright we call it as a maxima and some points are dark we call it as minima at points which are bright the interference is constructive and points which are dark the interference is a destructive constructive and destructive so now we find the position of bright fringes 
that is maxima whether this point is bright or dark so our next point related with this is first point is this formula are uh, very important first important point here is position of bright fringes or position of bright band bright fringes bright fringes are also called as maxima and we know bright fringes are obtained only when there is a constructive interference or intensity at that point is maximum so for maximum intensity at p point p in the figure for the maximum intensity at p path difference between the waves that is delta x that must be integral multiple of wavelength we know this condition where this n is 0 plus or minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on plus sign indicates uh, first fringe on upper side minus sign indicates first fringe on lower side bright fringe condition for the bright fringe is part difference is delta x is n lambda but part difference we know d sin theta that is equal to n lambda but we know sin theta is d upon d sin theta is uh, y upon d y upon d you know this formula sin theta is y upon d so this is y d upon d is n lambda y d upon d is n lambda or distance of the bright fringe y bright is equal to n lambda capital D divided by small d if fifth bright point we write here n as 5 so distance of particular bright point from the central bright point is given by this formula n lambda capital D upon D n is order of fringe that is uh, first fringe second fringe and so on but if, if n is 0 it is considered as central bright fringe that is that point O if we take n is 1 that is the first bright fringe plus 1 on upper side minus 1 on lower side so n represents the order of the fringe if n is 0 that fringe is central bright fringe and distance of that bright fringe particular bright fringe from the central bright fringe is given by the formula n lambda capital D upon small d very important formula so this is the position of bright fringes or maxima now we see position of dark fringes uh, that is minima position of dark fringes that is we call it as minima there is minimum intensity at point P for dark fringes the intensity at point P is minimum and for minimum intensity the condition of path difference that is delta x is 2n minus 1 and lambda by 2 
we know this condition path difference delta x is 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 where n is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on plus 1 means a first dark fringe from the upper side minus means first dark fringe on the lower side but this path difference we know it is a d sin theta we know path difference is d sin theta that is 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 but sin theta is y upon d so this becomes y d upon d is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 note that this formula are very important and hence the white dark band distance of particular dark band is 2n minus 1 lambda into capital D upon lambda into capital D upon uh, 2D why dark is 2n minus 1 lambda into capital D divided by 2 into small d this equation gives the position of dark fringe or we call it as a position of minima and if we know this formula then uh, we clearly write the fringe width third is the fringe width 